Yo guys, what's going on? Bobby here and we are back for part two of our finals gameplay against Ints. So I know you guys really liked the first part um, after reading all your comments and look at the likes to dislike ratio, all that. And I'm pretty pumped to get this type of gameplay out for you guys. Anyways, in the current score, it is one to one in sets. We lost in the Brawl Ball set and then we won in the Siege set. So we're now moving on to the third set, which is going to be, I believe, uh, it's going to be Lair Cake. So it's going to be Bounty Lair Cake. So you guys know how it works, but just a quick rerun is basically it's the first one to win three sets to best out of five and inside the best out of five it's per mode and then each mode is also a best out of five. So first one to win three map or three games in one map gets that map, which equals to get a mode, which equals to get one point. Um, if I didn't explain it too clearly, you guys are going to have it explained all throughout the video. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what happened in the third set of our game. Okay, so here we go into our first game. So we have a very interesting strategy here. So again, the bands for this match was Ems and Jackie, just in case you guys forgot. Um, so obviously Tick is a really good lane, so both teams are going to end up going with Tick. But we had a very interesting strategy. We actually decided that Bo's gadget could be useful. Now, if you guys watched my recent video for the bottom five brawlers, I, I believe I made Bo an honorable mention. Um, the one thing that kind of kept him below the bottom five was his gadget. Now, his gadget is very niche. You can't really use it in a lot of places. But it's not that bad. It's pretty middle of the pack, but if, can, if it can be used correctly, it's a top tier gadget for sure. So anyways, our plan right here is basically just to charge my super and just for me to break everything and do stuff. Now their Piper went a little bit aggressive, so I was able to kill her right off the start. Um, and things are going pretty well so far, so we're kind of just trying to protect the gadget right now. I'm trying to get my super. They have us pushed up really well. If I was facing this comp, one thing I'd want to do is since they're so far back is trying to like pin them in a corner. Now that's kind of what they're trying to do right here, except they're not able to. The the kind of like main thing to do would be to get Marcel to uh to get his uh, gadget and start like shooting us back. But anyways, I'm able to kill Marcel over there, so we have a pretty good lead. It's currently four to one. I've been tapping the Piper all throughout the game, so things are looking pretty good. I'm gonna use my super um shortly, kind of on that like Mr. P Porter thing right there, because I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way. It's super annoying. I don't want to keep wasting my Brock rockets on shooting a little porter it's kind of annoying so anyways i'm gonna try taking it out i'm gonna get it to one shot unfortunately but i mean we'll be able to take it out pretty easily anyways the teammates are doing really good over here so i'm kind of like set up to be the carries on the team so although you know Cryman can get a kill and og can get a kill i'm the one that's supposed to you know be supering things breaking walls getting the kills on the squad so that's what i'm trying to do right now um og and crying are doing a fantastic job really good gadget use by og and or by crying and Consti. they both played a really good tick uh they both barely went down throughout like the entire set um so i'm just gonna be chilling over here nobody on our team can die or else it's a tie og is one shot which is obviously super scary but we are going to be able to back them up and we're going to be able to maintain this lead and we're going to win the first game six to four. So I'm able to get star player. But again, you know, I'm kind of set up for greatness in the set as I'm the one that's supposed to basically be getting all the kills. It's a little bit hard versus a Piper, but I'm trying to make it do. So anyways, let's hop into the second game and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so hopping into the second game, we decided to go with the same comp. Now, this is a new comp. We've barely practiced it. We've only practiced it like two or three games. Um, but we really did like the feel of it. So OG put the sir, the whatever it is, his gadget a little bit further back. Now, I wasn't really a huge fan of this because already we, it was far back. This kind of allowed them to get first star really easily, which obviously um, is not OP. But I'm kind of just here trying to get my gadget. Luckily for us, Guido got a little bit too aggressive and I was able to tap him with my Brock Rockets. Uh, really good playing by Cryman backing up Consti over there. So I'm kind of just chilling at this point. I have my super. So one thing I want to do is kind of just like break their grass. Um, but I'm trying to decide what I want to break first. Um, before I do that though, I thought I would be able to get the Piper there. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to. Um, this thing glitched on my screen, dude. The Porter is so obnoxiously, like, glitchy. Like, it's so weird. Sometimes you just can't see the HP and then it turns, he uses his gadget and it turns into, like, the super godly little penguin looking thing and I don't even know. It's so weird. But anyways, at this point, I'm trying to get my super. I'm able to tap Marcel twice. He's gonna back up over there. OG does have one gadget left, so I think he's gonna move back to use it. I'm only one shot, I believe, to get my super. Yep, I'm able to get it over there. So at this point, I'm going to just kind of super that back right area a little bit. I'm able to hit Guido twice and take out their gadget, which is really good. Actually, I got the kill. I didn't know I got the kill there. So things are looking pretty good. I'm trying to charge my super again. Um, Consti gets hit over there. Krang's going to be able to get the kill. I go for a super. Unfortunately, I miss every single Brock Rocket. Don't really know how I missed all that, but whatever. So I'm kind of just chilling over here. Things are looking pretty good. Myself and Krang can't die here. We're trying to stay alive. Able to tap Marcel once, not able to get the kill. Um, the tickheads are going to cancel each other out over there. I'm trying to tap Consti to help out crying. I'm doing a really good job as well at tapping uh, Marcel. Not getting any kills, but I'm trying to figure this out um, and try and keep everyone back. 
Now, Crying does go down over there. The Mr. P, like, jukes through and, like, hits all three bow mines and, like, gets it out of the way, which was pretty godly. But anyways, only a little bit of time left. I have super. I noticed Marcel is basically one shot, so I'm able to kill him with my Brock super. Almost killed Guido over there, um, but, you know, weren't able to, but it doesn't really matter. We're able to take home the dub. For this one, we're going to move on to 2 nothing in the sets. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, both teams have played the same comp twice in a row, so this is kind of when you want to switch it up or when you're trying to get into each other's head, trying to counter the other team. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go hopping into the next game. So after about like four minutes of everyone clicking on brawlers and trying to decide what they want to do, they <laughs> they decide, we decide that we're just going to stick with the same comps. Um, they switched players on brawlers and they actually put Consti on the right side for this game, which is pretty interesting. Piper also on the right side. So I'm able to take out Consti straight away over here, which is pretty good. Marcel is one shot. OG got a little bit too aggressive. Although Marcel could have been killed. So it's actually not the worst thing in the world. Um, or sorry. Yeah, he could have been killed. Um, Marcel's one shot. He's able to run away, but still a really good start right here. You guys notice I haven't been able to, or I haven't used my Brock gadget yet. I do really like the Brock gadget. It's one of my favorite gadgets in the game, but unfortunately there just hasn't really been a time to use it uh, yet. But, you know, it's it's fine. Things are going really, pretty well. Um, so, you know, I'm going to super over there. Breaking a little bit of grass, but I was hoping to get a hit. I didn't get a single hit over there. It's pretty annoying um, using your super not getting a hit. Um, because, you know, it takes a while to build that up. But whatever. I'm going to go down to Marcel over there while tapping him. I hit him twice. He hit me twice. Unfortunately, though, that is a negative trade for me. I'm going to go down. But Crying Man's able to finish Marcel. Bounty's a little bit hard to, to cast. Cause it's kind of just like a lot of, you know, peeking and poking and trying to get your super and making a play. But anyways, I'm trying to make do. So anyways, we only need one more win. Guido gets hit over there. But unfortunately, OG gets tapped by Marcel, which means OG can't go for the kill. Um, I'm just trying to like break walls over there. I probably should have broken the middle at that point. But I'm going to break Crying Man's like area over there, which actually wasn't the best decision in the world. Since he obviously he had position over there over Consti. So I definitely shouldn't have done that. OG is going to go down over there, which, make, which puts us down one. 30 seconds left. We do have position, or well, we don't have position, but we do have a gadget. So what we're doing right now is kind of staying back. We're all trying to get our super so we can make a really good push. I'm kind of just chilling in the back. OG has a super at this point, so he's going to try and put down his mines, I believe. So I get my super. I'm walking up over here. Marcel with a really good prediction. He's going to hit me. So it's to take a little bit of time to regen. OG's trying to take out that little penguin. He's able to take it out. Seven seconds left. We're pushing them back. We have the tick head. OG's going for a play. I super the left side. I hit Guido once. Um, I miss him. I hit him one more that time. And then we lose. And if you guys notice, OG shot hit him right after the timer ran out. So unfortunately, not going to win this set just yet. Going to be 2-1 to one right now. We're going to have to move on to the next game. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into our final game of the set. And the reason I say final game is because unfortunately the replay, as you guys know, sometimes it doesn't work. Did not work for the last game. Now let's run that one down. I got two kills. We were up four to two. I had three or I had four stars. And then basically I threw. I went up unnecessarily because they were pushing us up. And in my mindset, um, their Mr. P was one shot. So I'm just going to go up and tap to Mr. P, try and get the kill and just kind of secure it. But instead I get tapped by a Piper, hit twice by the Mr. P and I die. It was super unnecessary. I could have just ran back. We probably would have won. Uh, definitely a big misplay on my end. Um, so we ended up losing that game. So this is the fifth game of the set. Winner takes the set. And obviously, this is a big, big game because the winner uh, moves on to be 2-1 lead to get a 2-1 lead in the set. Anyways, the first thing I did over there was we learned in the in the last game what you want to do is just break that middle right off the start. So that's what I did right off the beginning. The whole middle is broken. We're able to get first star, which is obviously huge. And they're going to have to come to us now. So I'm kind of just chilling over here, taking my time, trying to figure stuff out. I do have my super at this point. So Marcel's over here. I'm able to hit him once. Uh, so pretty decent. Um, going to break that right side kind of now. So it can be a little bit easier for OG. I'm able to get two taps on Marcel. And OG's going to hit him with the one bow shot that gets through. This is going to give us a 3 nothing lead with a little bit less than a minute to go. So pretty good position for us right now. Piper's going to move back up. Um, I'm going to try and get the taps. Able to hit it twice. Unfortunately, not able to kill it. I'm able to hit Consti once, which brings him to like 60 HP or whatever. But again, not able to get that kill. Kind of just keeping them low. Um, but at this point I was doing pretty well, you know, there's that one wall over there I'm not very fond of that one wall. So I'm gonna push it back the piper gets really low But unfortunately again, I do not end up getting the kill Um, but pretty good job at keeping them back right here. I'm able to hit guido over there uh, Twice so again, I get him one tap not able to get the kill og puts his uh gadget down Able to hit marcel a couple times. Um, but things are looking pretty good The tick gets done 15 seconds or 10 seconds left Looking pretty good for us. I'm just going to super that middle over there. I'm going to be able to get Marcel the one shot. Cryman's going to get it. And finally, I use a Brock jump for the first time in the set. I'm able to kill Consti. And we're going to take this flawless victory 7-0. 
and this is going to give us the third set so we're going to be up two to one so obviously that's huge things are looking really good for ssg as we've won the last two sets we're feeling ourselves we're really happy with that win but with that being said my favorite gem map of all time bone box aka stone fort um, has just been put back into the game and i'm super pumped and this is going to be the gem set um, for set number four so anyways let's hop into those games and let's show you guys what happened okay so here we go into the next game so the comps pretty interesting so we decided to go with the gene mid because gene mid is really good pam lane is probably the best lane in on this map so pretty decent mid you guys are going to see og kind of just like balling out and then we have crying on tara obviously crying loves tara i've said that in part one of the video um it's a really good brawler so they're gonna go with a penny mid pretty interesting considering there's a lot of grass here now a lot of people do like the penny mid because it is hard to take out the turret but there's just too much grass in my opinion for it to be worth it now maybe if you use a wall breaker it can be worth it but you guys can see it clearly they have no wall breaker and then they have a crow so crow is actually a pretty good lane nowadays considering the gadget is like the most broken thing in the world anyways we're up for nothing really good start Cryman's gonna use a super i'm just gonna get a quick auto aim pull over there on the crow and we're able to get that kill so already it's six to nothing things are looking really really good og's kind of bodying his lane right now uh he's able to get that kill sometimes i go on og's lane just because pam v pam it's very aggressive it's very like you guys can see guido's just like walking back and forth and trying to not get hit but pams they just go at it they get hit they they don't care they're just going for it so i'm trying to go on og's lane to help out every now and then um, so I have my super. I go for the super. I don't know how that one missed. It barely missed, but still did. Anyways, I'm pretty low, so I'm just going to use the gadget, kind of. Even though I didn't get full value out of it, I still use the gadget to try and make a play. Uh, Crow's going to jump on me. Again, I'm going to use the gadget to regain health. Pretty good timely use, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get a kill on that Crow, but at least I stayed alive with a 9 gem. So anyways, we just need one more gem. Crow's, uh, Crying's going to use his super over here. All we need is a pole or a solo pole or even a Pam kill. We don't need much. OG and Consti are kind of tying over here, although OG does have the lead um, when it comes in kills and deaths or whatever. But anyways, things are looking pretty good. Just trying to get my super at this point. So I'm going to go up OG's lane. I'm going to try and get some pokes. I'm able to get my super over here. So this is when Guido is kind of like, you know, a little bit scared to go and get those gems. Crying also has a super. So he's going to go for a solo pole on Marcel. He's going to be able to get it. At the same time, Thick OG is going to go to the middle. He's going to get that gem. And I'm just going to pull Consti through that wall. Me and OG are going to get a really good double kill. OG's hitting him with the full clip. I'm going to get my super. Pull Guido, and that's basically going to wrap up the first game. Really good teamwork over there. That was a pretty flawless game. Um, they did play. They did end up getting like five gems in the middle, but I, I thought that game was really well played. So anyways, one to nothing for us in this set. Let's hop into the next game, show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into the next game. So they decided to change from Penny to Jean. Really wise choice, obviously, as, you know, the Penny really didn't work out. Didn't apply any pressure. Penny turn only hit one person the entire game. So we got Marcel over here. He's just trying to hide. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where he is. I'm going to figure it out, get a couple taps over there. And I'm going to be able to get my super straight away. So things are looking pretty good. I go for the pull over there. I'm able to get it on Guido. So again, really good start. Already two kills before three gems have even spawned. So things are looking good. Going to shoot up that right side. This is giving me really good values. I'm hitting most of my shots. Um, and I'm able to get my... Um, my super now you guys know with gene i talk about auto aiming a lot so earlier on in the set um unfortunately i had to aim because we had such thick delay but at this point the delay kind of equaled out both teams had very equal delay and basically i was just like it's kind of awkward to auto aim pull when there's a turret right there and then there's a porter right there and there's a little mr p penguin walking around so although i don't have to auto aim and i could aim um the auto aim aspect of gene is definitely you know a really good aspect to have it's a really good thing to have and so i'm basically telling og and crying to try and take out those turrets because it's very big that if need be i have the chance to auto aim because it's 100 percent pull rate so why not so anyways i'm kind of just chilling in the middle doing my thing watching out for guido because he has pull on lane um to see this mr p little penguin thing it's glitched we have no clue how much hp it has sometimes it does that it's super annoying but anyways Kind of just vibing. I was going to go for a sneak pull, but unfortunately Guido did find me. OG's going to be able to pick up the kill over there on Consti, which was huge since they currently do have the lead. Going to be able to take out that Pam turret. And at this point, I'm kind of just like, you know, chipping Guido down, trying to get him to three shots. If he gets into pull range, I can just pull him towards me and get that kill. So over here, I hit him one more time. Now he's in three shot range. So I, I'm thinking about the pull, but I also have to remember that I'm also three shot range. So I'm highlighting the pull, but then I'm going to move back. I, I, I stopped thinking about it at that point. Anyways, Marcel's in the middle. He's doing a pretty good job at holding it down. I'm able to take out the penguins. going to play aggressively because I do have that gadget. So I'm able to get a couple gems over there. Things are looking pretty interesting at this point. Um, OG's like body and Consti. I go for the pull again. I barely miss, but I do miss. 
Uh, Cryman does have a super though. Consi's in a corner, not a great place to be, and a really good kill over there by Cryman. This leaves a couple gems on the ground. OG's gonna be able to pick them up. He's gonna pick up that third one in the middle, and now we're gonna move back. Cryman's able to get a kill on Marcel, so this one's pretty set. I'm just gonna use my gadget just to get additional HP, just because why not? Guido's trying to make a play at this point, but with Gene, unfortunately, you just don't do enough uh, damage to do anything. So I'm going to be able to kill Guido over there, and we're going to be able to take this second game. So it's currently 2 to nothing in the set, 2 and 1 in total sets. So if we win this next game, we are going to win the grand prize in the first place and all the points. And it, it's just going to be epic, you know? It's obviously what you want. So anyways, let's hop into the third game, and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go. We're going to hep... In, uh, not hep, sorry. We're going to hop into the, the third game here. And you guys can see they go with the same strategy. I guess they like their strat. Um, they did do pretty well. They did almost win that last game. They were leading at a couple points. So really good play or strategy by them. Um, I don't know how I stay alive here, to be honest. But I'm able to like get out of range of the Gene. Juke the Pam. Juke the Mr. P. So I'm able to stay alive. Also, obviously, the gadget did help a ton. So I do have my super at this point. Um, I was going to pull Consti, but I do get hit by a really far Mr. P shot. So I kind of had to regen there. Really good job by crying to take out that Porter. Um, I see Guido over here. I missed the pull. Um, on gem, I definitely, I definitely didn't play my best. I didn't play bad. I didn't. I don't think I died throughout the entirety of the the set. I think um, I might be wrong, but um, you know, I definitely could have hit my pulls better. Now Guido goes for a pull. I was super close, but I'm able to stay up um, as he does miss it. So OG is gonna go up there. He's gonna take out Constantine. Now this play is legendary. So let me focus on this a little bit. Now OG is gonna go over there now and kill Marcel. He's gonna completely ignore everything else. He's going to go to the bottom. He's going to chase down Guido all the way to the bottom. That's the last gem we need as OG has one as he picked up one from Consti, I think. And he's going to go to the bottom and basically take out Guido as well. So he's just he was just an absolute boss. He circled all the way around the map and killed everyone. God tier gameplay. I missed my pull again over there. That's like three missed pulls this game. Pretty bad gameplay. He's going to get another kill. And a little bit of a spin from us, and that is going to wrap up the gem set and wrap up the finals and give us the W. So anyways, GG's to them. They played fantastic. Um, I respect all their players. You know, I'm friends with them. They're really cool guys. Um, but anyways, it was really well played. We're very happy with the results. And this actually gave us sole first place in North America so far. So three months through, and we're currently in first place by a good amount. Um, 20 points at the moment, and we have the online finals coming up for May, so I'm super excited. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed part two of this gameplay. If you guys did, let me know, and I can put all the monthly finals or all the games that I play competitively on the channel. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, comment. You guys already know. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow with something new. I will see you guys then. Peace.